Hi DIYers, this is Sterling with Alarm Grid. Today I will be answering the question from Susan in New York. Susan wants to know how to delete a wireless device that she's already programmed to our L5100 Lynx Touch wireless alarm control panel. So Susan, it's a very simple process, very similar to when you added your sensor. Right now I have a 5811 wireless door in window sensor with the magnet and this has been programmed to our control panel using zone 2. When I move the magnet away from the sensor, front door chimes and you see fault zone 2 on the panel. Shows you that this sensor has been programmed. So, if you ever want to delete it because you no longer use the sensor, what you're going to do is click on tools. You're going to enter your installer code. Not the code that you use to arm and disarm. It has to be your installer code. It's a four digit code. The default installer code with your Honeywell system will be 4112. It timed out on me. So again, tools, 4112. And now we are into the installer mode programming. You see all the different options. What we're going to click on is zones. I'm sorry, we're going to click on program. Now we're going to click on zones. Now, because we have a programmed zone 2 front door, that's the one we're going to be deleting. And it's a very simple process. We're going to click front door. It's highlighted. So you can see which one we're working with. And then we're going to press delete. It wants to make sure you're sure, because you don't want to delete something by accident. Click yes. And now, if you go into it to do an edit, you'll notice that everything is gone. No serial number. No sensor is learned. If you uh, were to back out and go back to the home screen, and we have our sensor, which was programmed previously. Now when we move the magnet away, nothing happens because this L5100 Lynx touch panel no longer sees this as a, as a device that's learned. So Susan, that is how you delete your sensor. And I thank you for watching. If anyone else has any questions, please email faq at alarmgrid.com and we will answer the question on our website or we may even choose your question for our next video.